thanks. Yeah, good. We're all right, all right I think. Yeah. yeah, this is not really our uh, natural. <laughs> we sort of get wheeled out, and all these people are so brilliant, and they look so at ease, and then, yeah. Well, the great thing is, Comic Con is filled with a bunch of nerds. Yeah, <laughs> nerds are very nice, and yeah. they understand any awkwardness. Uh, it's good. Awareness. A lot of overlap with writer nerds. Yes. Oh, I think yeah. a lot of my. Yeah, a lot of nerds are writer, writer, nerds. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. With a show like this, I love it because it has the kind of humor that, like, I love, like, Malcolm Tucker. Ah, uh, okay. Like, for, uh, in the movie, the thick of it, and then yeah. I love the theme. And I love, like, and it's the same kind of humor, but it is in a world that I know a lot more about because I don't oh, know okay. politics, but yeah, I yeah. do know movies and fandom. Yeah, yeah. And so, when I was on a show like this, oh, I just kind of know, like, the people who, it's like that question, the people who, like, like those shows that maybe don't know a lot, yeah. but now are going to, well, I know a lot about superhero movies and stuff like that, are going to have those moments where they're like, oh, finally, one where I'm going to even know the joke about it, because <laughs> I, I get it. Yes, uh, and, uh, and I guess for writing it, yeah, having worked on things about American politics or American news media, whatever it is, I don't, I don't, I'm like you, I don't know those words either. And, and it's, so it's learn, like learning a different language, right? You just have to speak to people that know it. But for this, I think all of us are straight away. You don't, we didn't really have to do the research. On that side of it. We've all spent so much time on movie sets and TV sets, and also I think all of us come have some level of fandom about something, you know, I, I was more video games really growing up, but, but also like movies in the 90s pretty heavily. I think we all know what fandom is like and we all have our own, you know, passions and things, so it's, it was, uh, we were able to write it from a place of real affection for these films, not from a place of like, you know, we're not like Lodge of Art House, although Julie did say pretty good comic, comic uh, graphic novel, Mark Spiegel and Mouse. Uh, I gotta bring up the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but we're all we're all really like we all really like these films and, and know a lot about them. And so the research in that sense was really easy because it's just not. And we would go we would go in the writers' room, right? Go and watch the latest franchise releases and go and watch. We saw a couple in theaters too. Yeah, we'd go out together and um. it was really so that was really fun. It's like oh, it's going to yeah. It's not a, not a hardship, right? To have to immerse in that world. Yeah, we saw Guardians 3 together in London. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good homework. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which someone wants to. Anyway, anyway. Shazam on the plane. That was me. <laughs> Shazam 2 on the plane. Um, yeah, to London. Shazam 2, yeah. Shit. Shazam 2. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I know. We were just talking about that. Uh, is that a, so I didn't know a ton about Zach Levy before, and now I know a ton about Zach Levy. Was that a surprise to people who. No. 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 Okay. So, not recent Zach Levy. I have a couple heard... years ago, maybe. Not okay. So what you're like that yeah. trash. And then it's like, and then it went RSK Jr. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really weird. Really that's a right. Yeah. Yeah. People don't talk enough about the brainworm, and I will die on that hill. <laughs> How is that bear too much? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> the brainworm. And then, and was there a theory that? No, what was it that he did eat? He ate a dog, and that may have caused the brain worm, or is this a possible I, I anyway? he was going to eat a bear. He was going to eat a bear that he left the bear home. that was shot. This is now, this is just Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. This is, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the writer's room's like, yeah. so it gives you a good sense if you've ever wondered what happened in a writer's room. It is just like this all day, right? Yeah. You just start on the... Discursive. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, well, maybe um, Peter's got a brain worm. You're like, mm, yeah, maybe, that might be good. Season two. Yeah, we did have one story where... What was it? We had this. This is not going to go. It's not going to be a great anecdote. But we had a story in the room about Richard becoming paranoid that his head was getting bigger. Yes, yes. And his, his helmet been... wasn't fitting for some reason. Yeah, that his right. And his thought... knee felt tight or uh, something. Do you remember that? It was yeah. his helmet. And oh no, then... that was Adam. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. He was wondering whether it was his ego could literally cause his, his actual head to get bigger. <laughs> his actual anyway, head anyway, you can see why that didn't work. Yeah. Really so, but so yeah, that's a tangent. Oh well, speaking of politics, some kind of. Uh -huh. 
Um, I was surprised to find that a lot of politicians love beef. I thought they would think like, oh, you're making fun of me. You heard any thing from your friends or family who work in the industry that are like about the show so far? People here. Like, I loved hearing, we did a screening last night and I just met someone at that table um, who worked with BFX. And so it's been really cool to hear feedback from people who are like, you don't see a lot of BFX people on screen. And, um, I, how many episodes have you guys seen? Oh. I've seen three. I've seen two. Oh, okay. Cool. VFX is, plays a larger part in the season going forward, yeah. yeah. So, um, I have some actor friends who have expressed extreme jealousy at the size and um, sort of luxury of the trailers in the, in the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, um, so are any of the characters based on like specific people that you've met in your like career, or are they more like an amalgamation of like a bunch of people? Yeah, I'd say yeah, composites of people that we've met. Yeah, certain dynamics you take from like actors that I've worked with, like the relationship between uh, Adam and Peter. Yeah, you take it's like you take little bits. And, yeah, from the research, I guess, the more people you speak to, you start to build up ideas. And honestly, yeah, a lot, a lot of it comes just from the cast. That's one of the most pleasing things of working on a show is when it's, you've got an idea of what it is and then it actually becomes, like, I'd say, Lolly's character. Is there a baby? Where's 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 a baby? Are you all guests like me? Is there a baby? No, 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 there's a baby crying. Oh, there goes the light. Is this happening because of the baby? Yeah. No, it's nap time. It's nap time, yeah. Wait, are we all not moving enough? Oh, uh-huh. You don't need to do that. Moving around to get the lights on. It might, there might be something, because there's a yeah, panel room right next door or something like that. Or it's like solar powered, I think, to a degree in Javits. Mm. And it's just really, um, New York has an energy efficient ranking and everything, so. Don't get me started. Okay. Because <laughs> really? my hotel had a C on it, and I got really scared. <laughs> but no, I had A for clean and everything oh. like that, but I was like, where? Yeah, my apartment building is like a D, and I'm like, I don't control that, so why do like? Because they're like trying to be more energy efficient. This is energy my favorite efficient. interview that I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it really room. is just like talking to people. Oh, it's like absolutely anything. It's like energy <laughs> efficiency. <laughs> don't get me started, but I do want to get you started because I want to know what. Oh, my roommate just has very strong opinions on whenever they are bad. Um, oh, so right. our building went from an A to a B, and she went on a tangent. It's like a good yeah. Seinfeld. It'd be a good yeah. C story. Yeah. Seinfeld, the brain <laughs> yeah. so like I say, it's good. Seeing how still it could be. Or he's like trying to turn off all the lights in the apartment yes. building, yeah. trying to get a higher ranking. Right. Well, they did that. They made a big deal at my my job about like, oh, make sure you like turn off your computer when you leave. And I'm like, the lights are on 24 seven. But yeah, my computer oh, is the problem. Send all of us like little power things that you can like turn off. Like you can plug it in the wall, plug everything in, but then turn it off. So then you don't have to worry about unplugging things. Oh, like the power very, strip? No, not a power strip. It's literally like one just for one. Are you supposed to unplug things? Yeah. You're not that that still draws. Yeah, that still draws energy yeah. apparently. Where does it go? Into the thing that's not being used. Oh. Well, it's like your laptop is charged. Your laptop is just like yeah. sitting there and it's shut. See, I never charge. Off. All my devices are on five percent at all times. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, and that's doing, doing your part. Doing your part. Okay. I have like a, a somewhat serious question. Um, yeah. Just something I know Rachel and I have dealt with being women on the internet and yeah, yeah. with anything fandom related. Yeah. Rachel gets it. She's very pop. She's popular. Just. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to give some context to it. Oh, no, it's good. Um, like, what? Are you guys worried about maybe some toxic fanboys reacting to that, or are you hoping maybe they see the error of their ways? I mean, I, is it is it very like sort of something to say like that the that writers are unseen in general and don't bear the brunt of any 
I mean, you are a journalist, so it's different. Like they actually see you, but I don't think I, I've, I haven't had that experience, and I, I was not worried about. Are you worried about it? Um, no, not no, not really. No, I, I think it's all right, isn't it? Like. It, it, it's unlikely, and if it happens, I, I feel really confident and comfortable in what we say. And you know, it is, it's true, right? Like that episode is about women, female characters, and what can happen to the actresses that end up in that world. And it's all of it is based on stuff that, we, that it's public domain that people know is true and that really happens. And it's it's really terrible. It's like fucking hell. Like bomb threats now feel so the death threats have just become so like by the by run of the mill and you're like people just brush it off it's just like a few death threats you know it's like what's happened to us <laughs> so yeah I, who, who knows I don't know whether it will antagonise anyone but I think I think we're pretty we're on a pretty solid ground I don't know how you feel yeah I think we haven't said anything that isn't I mean, being a woman on the internet is the worst thing you can be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. and, and also, it would have been dishonest of us not to have reflected that in some form. In, in some ways, you, you could argue that we haven't really gone far enough because it is so. It's such a big part of um, of this world, but it's also quite a dark place. And I, don't, I didn't want to sort of spend too much time in it because it is quite bleak. So we, yeah, we, we talk about it a bit, but, you know, it's not, it's a small, hopefully it's a small part of the fandom. I don't know whether that's true, but that's what I hope. It is small, just loud. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, it's, that's what, it's the thing is, they're just very loud and very death threatening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, like, makes it even louder. Yeah. yeah. Compared to, like, uh, Death threats tend to stick around more than the compliments. Yeah, the other yeah. threats, too. Yeah. Yeah. You always remember the death threats. Yeah. 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 The uh, question is silly. Um, Good. Light in the <laughs> There are so many beat memes on the internet. Every day, every new day, there's a new one that works. And I do think it's very fun when you're making a show like this that people who love things like memes do and all that. They're organized and they're watching. Do you guys ever hope you're like, okay, guys, this is this is the one that the people are going to like uh -huh. use as their reaction image for the next five years. Oh, that'd be amazing, yeah. yeah. That'd be really yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah my it might also impress my kids, which is difficult for me. They're so uninterested in TV and films that it means nothing to them that I'm they they really think this is cool. Like, I can't wait to go home and tell them. I'm gonna give them my passes and they'll be like Comic Con, that's really cool. <laughs> if there was anything like that, they would really love it. Yeah, so hopefully it'd be, that'd be really nice. I guess that is the first real indication that you're starting to hit somehow, is if people are, you know, repurposing it. So yeah, hope so. Hopefully, hopefully, Dag's got enough stuff that we could use. Or yeah, I don't know. We'll yeah, see. her reactions are definitely <laughs> the kind of reaction memes that yeah. people might. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard you can see the one where after Billy's being re reassured that he's not turning into a sheep, it's kind of like brave, but like really scary. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm I like, see. I want to get that. So bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, streaming shows tend to like get canceled early. So like when you're when you're writing something for streaming, do you? plan for more seasons or do you just like this is <laughs> or do you do you write each season like I'm sorry I'm not yeah. phrasing this yeah. well yeah. but yeah. We, it, we, it really is one season at a time yeah. like you can't even on succession and we knew that was at some point it felt like it was pretty solid but even then you're only ever you can't really get it get ahead I, I don't think Some, sometimes you hear people say we've got like a five season arc or something but I think that's like a selling point but not yeah. something that's necessarily good I, I feel like I've seen so many shows that leave you on a cliffhanger and then you get cancelled and you're like no what did yeah. happen yeah. I think you need a, you need like sorry you need to you sort of you hope and you yeah. plan but you also want to have a good end point just in case yeah 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 it's tough it can be a challenge writing to balance the big dramatic need for like closure and you want the stories to resolve and the characters to 
you know, move from point A to point B, but you also don't want it to be so satisfying that you don't want to check back into the world. It's not a movie. Um, so yeah, I think it's a balance of enough stuff on, on, you know, enough loose ends that there's another movie. So yeah, I guess in that way we have a similar thing to try and get a satisfying conclusion that had a promise of something different. Yeah, and, and Marvel bringing back Robert Downey Jr. Yes. is a different guy. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> even when things yeah, end, and that they is, can be repurposed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ellen, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. That was pretty fun. My last dark day.